floating on a yeah. chair because that's how little he can be bothered to do his own moving. Exactly. So I tell you, like pe people whose whose jobs involve them being on their feet for like eight to eight to twelve hours a day on a regular basis have pretty awesome legs. I haven't had a shift that long yet, but I know One like of these days. well, like head chefs are usually that busy. One they have long shifts. Days. I don't want to get to that level, but still. How's your food looking? Uh, 97 right now, but I'm not sure if I should be leveling up max or not. Well... I'm going to save it up for a little bit in case we find somebody else to recruit. All right. Hey, fatty, get back here. Ah, uh, to the crystal. Get off. There we go. And how's the oh, south going? Oh, yeah. Shit's getting torn up down south. If these guys are uh, not getting past that strong room. Nice. So smoking guns, Jesus. They're yeah, pretty... those um those flying um really thin crystals. They yeah. are shooter enemies whose priority is actually destroying minor modules. So they will directly attack your defenses. They're the first yep. enemy of that sort that we're going to encounter, as you just saw. I'm going to continue powering up things down south a bit. And um, hopefully research will be done at any moment. Probably. Poor Max. Nobody loves him. Fuck Max. <laughs> <laughs> Hell with that guy. More science. Oh. Hurrah. Ooh, industry generator four, but I don't have enough science for that. It's a hundred. How much do you have right now? Seventy-four. Uh, next turn, I'll pop another science generator in the room just off on our right. All right. Let's proceed. Actually, I can do that now. But you probably, you've got a better one, though. Hey! Oh, snap! It's the dragon! Okay, I'm gonna get Max in here. <laughs> Alright, Max. Get the fuck out. Nobody likes you. Do you actually see him? Huh? Do you actually see Krayang? Yeah, of course. Man, I hope you can unlock him. Yep. Her, yep. Right now. Do it. Do Bam. it. <gasps> oh, I, I forgot to kick this guy out first. Yeah, you gotta kick Max. I've, I've, I've forgotten. I thought it would just swap them. Yeah, no, you actually gotta get rid of him. He'll give you some food back. Nice. Okay, hang on. Let's see. Very nice. Oh, he's level 8 already. Yep. Let me review what he does. There's the winter, the winter thing you talked about. Uh, hold the line. Which is, um... <laughs> the, best, yeah. the best defense is not a good offense. It's this. <laughs> hold the line's like, what, plus 70% defense to all heroes in the room? Uh, plus 100 defense points to everybody in the room. Yeah. And passives, defender of the past. <clears throat> oh, that's right. He fights better if there's artifacts around and stuff. Artifacts that are currently active, which, by the way... Nero stun module now being researched. Fair enough. Uh, I'll give him the tool belt. Uh, and I need a spear for him. Well, I'll have to grab Okay, that. now I need to park the warden somewhere so he can stop puttering his chunky butt all over the place. Um, uh, I can put him in this f food generator over here. You can do that, or you can go back to having the warden being our first line of defense. There's that room way down south, where the science generator is. I don't know if I want to leave him in that room, though. It's probably a little oh, dangerous. You know, hang on a minute. No, hang on. Right up here. Where, why? I just built another science generator in the direction we're heading in. Oh, I can put him there, then, for a little while. Yeah. yeah. Oops, wrong guy. Okay. Well, Krang is also an operator. A decent wit at that. But so much, she is so much better at exploring, because she's a fighter. 
Krang's just freaking OP. The only thing she does not have going for her is speed and attack speed. Actually, her speed ain't bad. It's not the best, Fair but enough. it's not bad. Okay, um, do you have the industry to do any defense modules where the, uh, where the warden's at? I'm not even sure we really need to. Okay. Um, I'll, actually, I'll throw a couple prods down for token defense, but... How much science do you have? 80. Okay. Alright, whenever you're ready, we'll continue. Spear, come on, spear. Rapier, damn. Can't use that. And then in one more turn, you should be able to do research down at the uh, bottom crystal there. Okay, well, let's go north for now. Sure thing. We will team but melee this. <clears throat> yeah, right? It's like, fuck the shooty guys, they keep dying. Here we go, fight night. Oh, hell. So bad, so bad. Yep, just move. Move to the Warden. Yeah, the Warden's good. I'm moving farther down than that. Oh, hell yeah. Protect the crystal. Protect the crystal. Ah, jeez. Just winterize these people. Oh, shit. Warden and just Warden, died. Yeah. I wasn't even paying attention to him. Uh, I'm just going through people today. Well, that complicates things a little bit. I was so confident of the Warden's defenses that I wasn't even looking at him. That was silly of me. Uh, oh, well. Oh, I've got way too many items now, damn it. Well, I'm going to start researching Industry 4. Yeah, go ahead. I um I took a little bit of power away from the southern area. Oh, and here's the thing: is we are in a position where we know where the elevator's at. If it, if it's if it gets to the point where we think we can't handle this anymore, you know, I got dust I can see down south. I'm gonna pick that up. If it gets to the point where we think we can't handle this anymore, we can always get the hell out before opening every door. That sounds insane to me. It sounds insane to me, too, because it reduces the amount of resources and research we can do. But it's one of those things where when you start getting desperate, it starts sounding a bit more appetizing. All right. I'm going to do what I should have done a while ago. And now... That artifact's room is powered. That leaves Nutello as public defender number one. Which is a little sad and by its, in its own right. It is. All right, it get is. up here. Get up here, boy. We got I'm some explorings to do. I know. I'm just I'm setting up defenses because we're starting to get our asses handed to us. Yeah, but you don't need to be in the room to do that. Fair enough. Fair enough. You can just let, let him. Let, yeah, you just let him path while you're doing stuff. All right, ready? Yep. Oh, do you need so stuff? You, so, you, no, I got plenty of stuff, dude. Okay. I picked up. I picked up from like two of your dead dudes. Oh. I've actually got five. Oh, I got the fuzzy. Oh. I don't want a fuzzy. We don't even have anyone who can use it at this no. point. No. Nobody loves the fuzzy. There we go. We can Hang offload on. your your bounty. Okay. So there's nobody here. What does he trade in? Here, I just sold the the soul taker, which you're gonna want. Trades in food. And the rapier. He's got two melee weapons now. Wait a second, tightrope. I can use that. Holy shit! 
There's all the stuff I had, by the way. A lot of it was stuff you originally had. <laughs> uh, probably. Um, what the hell is that? Oh, well, whatever. Soul Taker. Tightrope. Speed minus one, attack power 47. I'm not even seeing that. I already bought it. This oh, okay. is, It's a spear. This was crafted by a prisoner faking insanity who insisted it was used by invisible circus midgets. Wow. Yeah. Sonic gun. I'm going to get that for Nutello. Speed 3, attack power 29, oh, attack cooldown minus 0 0.2, fires debilitating blasts of compressed teen pop star music. Illegal <laughs> on most planets. What was the name of the item again? Sonic Gun. Jeez. Defeat uh, your foes with the power of Bieber. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> or it's kind of like that um, that Deadpool comic where it's Deadpool versus uh, Carnage. And he comes pre-equipped to the battle with a sonic weapon and it's illegally downloaded dubstep. <laughs> And, that, it's, and basically his carnage is sitting there like, why? Why would you use this shit on me? He's just like, because you don't deserve to be tortured by legally obtained music. <laughs> fall back, fall back, fall back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, use, use all the powers at your disposal. It's winter, bitch. I got another rice wind. <laughs> You can sell it for food. Yeah. That that is so very Deadpool to do that though, isn't it? Dude, it is. There we go. Buy organic. Get the smoking. Get the get the level three smoking gun in here. Is there another slot? No, there isn't. That's, That's okay. okay. I have an idea. Hang on a minute. Prisoner Prod 4, Dust Gen 2, Tactical HUD 1. You know, I'm going to get Dust Field Gen 2. This room right here, the, the crystal room, mm -hmm. This I actually want to fill this up with some of our best defenses the moment we have the ability to. If you can get bioorganic transference, transference in there, that would be great. I'm actually going to throw down the Dust Field Generator. All right. All right, and this is this is the Alamo right here. This is the moment we open a door. Instead of going in the room, just run back there. <laughs> All right, ready? Opening door on the left, and go. Oh, it's empty. On. It is, but anything could be spawning. Stuff is spawning down south, and yet we got stuff spawning up top as well. Run to the Alamo. To the Alamo. Now, oh. correct me if I'm wrong. But isn't that a really bad name to be using? Because the Elmo didn't really win. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? There's... Why are we naming our fallback point after a fort that is famous for falling? <laughs> you know what? I'm Don't just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, no, I, I get it. I, I totally understand what you're saying. But as far as I know, that's like most good historic references. <laughs> What about, what do you mean? I mean, like, a, a lot of stuff that people refer to as far as, like, recalling, you know, a, a particular... R remember the event Alamo, yeah. As a metaphor. Sorry. People, 